Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I made a fried chicken Caesar salad, and this is the Caesar salad kit that I used from Aldi. I did add some extra shredded Parmesan cheese, and then I cooked up a couple of boiled eggs, so we each got a, a sliced up boiled egg on our plate. And then I had one slice of um, five cheese garlic bread, and it is from Tom Thumb. I don't have the box, I already threw that away. So I just cut that piece of bread in half and I cooked it in the air fryer. Also in the air fryer, I made these Tyson crispy chicken strips. I had this bag in my freezer. It was open and, um, I just wanted to use it up. So I have a couple more servings of chicken in there and I love when they give air fryer directions on the bag. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, today is Meatless Monday and I had mentioned to you on another What's For Dinner video that I am going to try to do more meatless meals. So tonight's dinner was inspired by a recipe on the side of this um, box of rice mix. And I will hold the camera right here so you guys can screenshot it if you'd like. It is called vegetable, pe vegetable beef pilaf because it's beef rice. There's actually no meat in here. So, here are the ingredients, and the only thing I did not add to this pilaf was the pecans and the celery. And then here are the directions. And so I did end up sauteing my vegetables separately and then adding them to the uh, rice mix after I already cooked it up, and here it is. So there are, um, I added mushrooms, matchstick carrots, green onions, and parsley. Now parsley is something that I've only recently started cooking with and I love it. I used to think of it just as a garnish, but it does add a really good fresh flavor. With it, I'm just serving some canned green beans and then we also have some fresh corn on the cob as well. And then for dessert, I made my peach dumplings. I did record a video on this a while back ago and I'll link it, but you can see it just came out of the oven and it's bubbling. So these are just crescent rolls. As you can see, they puffed up. They're just crescent rolls with um, fresh peaches in them. And they are so good and so easy to make. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, quick and easy dinner tonight. I had this tart outside in my garage freezer. I'd actually forgotten about it, needed to use it up and it is from Trader Joe's and it is a mushroom flatbread with different cheeses on it. You cook it directly on the oven rack. Actually, I'm sorry, that is not true. You cook it on a cookie sheet at 450 for about 14 to 18 minutes. I cooked mine for about 16 and here it is. And it's a pretty small pizza. As you can see, it cooks, I mean, it's, it fits within the cookie sheet and a serving size is half of this tart. So Howard and I, of course, are going to split it. Um, with it, we are also having some crispy wings, and these are my favorite Foster Farm wings. Now, I normally get them from Costco, a huge bag, but, <clears throat> excuse me, at Costco, they don't sell this flavor, sweet Thai chili, and I've never tried it before. I got this more recently, I can't remember where, but it's just a, a one pound bag of the wings. Wanted to try the flavor, and I cooked them in the air fryer. And I have to say, it's not my favorite flavor, it's kind of, um, I can't quite put my finger on it. It's more like a sweet and sour, which I'm not a, a fan of. I prefer more savory than sweet. So I'm going to stick with my favorite Korean barbecue style wings, but I did want to give this a try. But here they are. If you like that sweet and sour taste, you would probably like these. Like I said, I cooked them in my air fryer, I think for about uh, 26 minutes at 360 and flipped them halfway. And then um, I just put the little um, sauce packet on there. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I kind of threw a meal together. So let me show you what I did. So I cooked up this package of ramen noodles and I drained the noodles 
and set the seasoning packet aside. Drain the noodles and then I just toss them with a little bit of sesame oil to keep them separate. In the meantime, in a skillet, I browned up one pound of ground chicken and um, when the chicken cooked, I added in green onion, this coleslaw mix, and then this red cabbage mix as well. And then as far as seasonings, um, I added soy sauce, hoisin, and gochujang, which is a chili sauce. It's a paste, a Korean paste, and that's what it looks like. So stir fried that up, and then I just added in the noodles to it, and this really makes a big skillet. So we'll definitely have enough for leftovers for lunch tomorrow. And then in the air fryer, um, I just popped in these chicken spring rolls from Trader Joe's. So quick and easy meal tonight, used up a couple of things that I had on hand. And this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having black eyed pea skillet. This is something that I made last year and I will make sure to link that um, what's for dinner video in the description box so you guys can get the recipe. With it, I am having this um, Fleischmann Simply Homemade cornbread, which was in my pantry, needed to use that. But in the black eyed pea skillet is just hot breakfast sausage, jalapeno, onion, and black eyed peas, that's it. And then Howard is having his with some avocado on the side. So this, and I'm serving it over jasmine rice. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.